Have you been in a car wreck and don't know how to calculate an auto insurance settlement? One of our subscribers, Sally, got in touch with us asking to help her calculate monetary damages. We helped her and this was her story. She told us, I had never been in a car wreck before, so I was clueless on how to begin calculating the monetary damages. The other driver's insurance company wanted to settle out of court, but they were unwilling to provide any information about their policy limits and it seemed they were trying to pull one over on me. This led me to believe that my settlement would be below what I deserved given the severity of my injuries. After watching related insurance videos by Trendy Money, I learned how much money is actually owed in damages after a car wreck and how much money will be paid by the at fault parties auto insurance company if we go through litigation instead of settling out of court. We helped Sally, now let us help you too. You deserve more than just a few thousand dollars after going through such an ordeal. Watch this video to the end and you'll have the knowledge and power to get the payout you deserve. You may have also wondered how settlements are calculated and what to do if they are not enough for your needs. We will help you. The truth is that most adjusters will assess fair and honest, but it never hurts to be prepared with knowledge about how these assessments work. So in this video, we'll discuss nine steps on how to calculate an auto insurance settlement, including what factors can affect them and how you can negotiate effectively. Keep watching as point seven is very important and can make or break your negotiations. Let's go. The complicated nature of calculating auto insurance settlements is a common frustration. Due to variations in the policy and coverage details, exactly how an insurance company will calculate your settlement can remain unknown until you struggle through the process. The settlement that you can receive for most accidents is calculated by taking into account a number of factors. The type and nature of property damage and whether or not you were injured will affect the kind of medical expenses which are covered in an accident. That is why it's important to understand how these damages factor together for determining monetary compensation from insurers after accidents happen. It's not always easy but understanding them all helps make sure there aren't any surprises later on down the the road with payments owed back out of pocket because they weren't expected at first glance. First things first, check out the damage to your vehicle. Be sure to check every single bit of damage no matter how big or small because some damages may not be visible at first glance. The adjuster would also want to know about any pre-existing damage that was already on the vehicle before the accident happened. So it's important for you and your insurance company both to have a full understanding of what is covered in this regard. Be sure to take photos of the damage for proof as your insurance company will need them to assess the damages. Second, be aware that your car might be considered a total loss by the insurance company. In this case, the insurance company will offer you a settlement for your car's worth before it was wrecked. If this is all they are willing to pay, be sure that any outstanding loans on the vehicle have been paid off and then negotiate with them about how much of their payment should go towards paying down those debts. The more money left over, the better for you because you can use it to buy a new car. If you are not satisfied with the settlement I have another video on that topic which I will link to in the description below. Next it's important to know that if you suffer from any injuries from the car wreck you should seek medical attention. Even if it's small it should be medically checked out. A car wreck can be a traumatic event and it's important to get the proper care for your injuries even if they seem minor at first. It's very important to keep hold of any proof such as medical receipts, x-rays, treatments etc. If because of your injuries, you have had to take time off work, be sure to keep track of the number of hours you missed and any other expenses incurred, such as childcare. If your injuries are severe, it's important to get a lawyer on board as soon as possible because they will help you with negotiating an insurance injury settlement for more money. It is also very helpful if there is anyone who witnessed what happened and you have their contact details. You might be able to use this in your negotiations. So you've been injured in a car accident and it's inconvenient your daily life. Imagine getting a settlement that covers all of your medical bills and lost wages from the accident. This means no more worrying about paying off those medical bills or if you can afford to take time off work because of your injuries. This next segment will tell you how. If you have indeed been hurt, you should request compensation for pain and suffering. This means that you'll be able to get an even better settlement. A personal injury lawyer can help you with this process and make it easy for the insurance company as well. Depending on the nature of the injury, 
injury and how long it could go on determines the settlement amount. The more severe the injury, the more it is possible to get a high auto insurance payout for your injuries and your pain. If you have indeed been hurt in an accident that was not of your fault or another person's fault, then this means there's most likely some compensation from a third party who caused said incident. This can come as money given out by them directly or if they are found guilty through court proceedings. But whatever you do, do not accept your first offer. Many people in car accidents are under the mistaken impression that they should accept an offer for a settlement too soon. The reality is these offers can be used as ammunition in negotiations and may lead you into settling on unfavorable terms. This is why it's important to take the time and do your research before accepting any offer. Remember, never accept the first offer. If you can get more, it will help you get your life back on track. Here now is the most important part you need to be aware of. You really, really, really need to know this to help you calculate your auto insurance payout. Find out what the other driver's policy limits are. Why? Well, if you are in a car accident with someone who is at fault, they may not have enough insurance to cover the damages. For example, let's say you had damages of $10,000, but the other person only had $5,000 in coverage. You will then be stuck with a $5,000 deficit, which means that you would have to sue the driver of the other vehicle in order to get the rest of your money. This would be costly and not always a good option as you will also need to hire an attorney and pay their fees. How do you find out someone's insurance policy limit? Watch to the end and I'll show you how. Before I do that, you also need to check if you live in a no-fault state. If you live in a no-fault state, then the insurance company of your vehicle will pay for your medical expenses. Why? This is because each driver's insurance pays up regardless if they're at fault or not. The only exception would be when there was an uninsured motorist involved who caused injury. So what do you do if you're in a wreck with an uninsured motorist? If you are in a wreck with an uninsured motorist, then your insurance company should pay for the damages. If they are not playing ball, then you would just need to hire an attorney and personally sue the other driver. We've covered a lot in this video. You now need to watch two more short videos. The first one, as I mentioned earlier, is how to find out someone's insurance policy limits. The second one is actually calculating your accident settlement compensation. Hint, it goes something like this. Cost of repairs plus medical expenses divided by 100 times days missed from work equals total amount owed in damages and losses, which you will then need compensation through either money or other means. Other means you say, what are these? Check out the other video to find out. Both of these videos are linked in the description and you can click on them right here. Please like this video right now so other people who also want to know how to calculate an auto insurance settlement can find this video. You'll be doing them and us a favor. Oh, hit the subscribe button too. We really appreciate your time. We know your time is valuable. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, hit the notification bell when you subscribe. Please share on any other social media to help other people find it. Like this video and of course, be a superstar and comment.